In Britain, they call this hoovering, essential preps for a visit by the Queen. Canada House was showing its best face. Even Canada's Governor General was sporting a sartorial surprise. The Queen and Prince Philip, on one of his last public events, marked two occasions with their visit, Canada's sesquicentennial and the Queen's Jubilee. The Queen is the sixth British monarch since Canadian Confederation, but given her long reign, she's watched over Canada for nearly half of its 150 years. The way she goes, we might be here for the 200th, you know? <laughs> if she is an amazing woman. The monarchy's appeal in Canada has waxed and waned over 150 years, but Queen Elizabeth's ties with Canada are long and strong. I'm almost done my studies. So. Reinforced by receptions like this one with guests in the arts, sports and business, like the designers behind D-Square. And for her sapphire jubilee, a gift from Canada. We hope it serves as a reminder of the immense affection in which we're held. David Johnston presented a bejeweled snowflake brooch. It's studded with beluga sapphires from Baffin Island, a very rare and beautiful jewel, and then diamonds from Northwest Territories. And I think she was particularly struck, as was he, that these were um, gems that came from uh, the northern part of Canada. Cassie Campbell is her name. Johnston has met the Queen six or seven times, he says, in his official role, and is well-versed in protocol. Leaving Canada House, he gently held the 91-year-old monarch's elbow as she navigated steep steps. And for that, a British paper pounced. The Daily Mail headlined, Breach of Protocol, One Must Never Touch the Queen. Well, I just was anxious to be sure that there was no stumbling on the steps. It's a little bit awkward, that descent from Canada House to uh, Trafalgar Square, and there's a carpet that's a little bit slippy. Palace rules actually don't dictate hands off the Queen. It's not written down anywhere. It's etiquette, and Queen Elizabeth seemed unperturbed as she bid farewell to her 11th Governor General and to Canada House on the 150th. Susan Ormiston, CBC News, London.